Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Hazel Basilio, and I am the exhibition manager of Africa Health. Thank you all for coming to Africa Health Exhibitor Webinar. And, um, you know, in exactly two weeks from now, Africa Health Virtual Show will officially start. And we are excited to host the leading healthcare event in Africa virtually. Um, we have an exciting lineup of uh, uh, keynote speakers conference tracks, uh, industry talks, and uh, we also have a diverse lineup of exhibitors. And uh, here with me today is our project manager, Divya, who will walk you through the registration process. And Melissa from Swapcard will walk you through the demo on the online platform. Over to you, Divya. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you for introducing us. Um, welcome, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time to log into the webinar today. Um, and welcome to Africa Health Online 2021. Thank you so much for confirming your participation for the show. Um, this particular webinar is focused on um, giving you all the steps and all the tips that you need um, to ensure you are fully set up before um, the visitors start coming into the platform and also to ensure that you know all the best practices that are needed um, to get all your relevant team members into your online event. Um, at the same time, also ensuring that you have all the knowledge you need to um, get the maximum benefit out of your participation. Um, I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Um, and generally, for any of you guys who have previously participated at Africa Health or actually any Informa Markets show, um, I'm going to start with a platform called Customer Center, uh, which is usually the our exhibitor portal. So if you've been, um, you know, an exhibitor with us in the past, you you should be generally very familiar with the platform. Uh, but I'm going to start with that platform and then move into the registration. I just want to reiterate: this is not the online event platform. Um, this is the registration part of the journey. Also, um, towards the end of the webinar, we will have about 10 to 15 minutes dedicated, hopefully, um, you know, if we have that much time, about 10 minutes dedicated towards answering your questions. So um, as myself and Melanie move along the journey, if you have any relevant questions, please feel free to pop them in the chat window or the questions window. Um, we also have a few of our colleagues, Kate, for example, here, um, who will be trying to answer your questions in the chat box while we are explaining the journey. Um, and also, we will be sharing links to um, a few step-by-step -step guides um, to the exhibitor journey uh, when we are done with the webinar. So if you find those links in the chat box that Kate has dropped, please feel free to bookmark them um, and you know, use it when you want to utilize it later. Um, and also, um, more importantly, a recording of this webinar will be available after we've concluded the session today. Um, so we're trying to ensure that all of these resources, whether they're video format, PDF format, are available to you um, to guide you while um, you're not directly connected with us. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Um, and here what you see um, is the welcome email that you get from Customer Center. So like I said earlier, Customer Center is the portal. Uh, where you would generally be welcomed, you will be getting all your, um, you will have access to the exhibition. Generally, if this was a physical exhibition, this is the portal you would go in and let's say give your um, fascia, all, everything related to your on-site experience. Um, this time, because it's a fully virtual event, this is the place where you um, get to add more team members into your online platform and also get a quick access to the online platform. So we're going to quickly say how we can get into customer center. Um, generally, this is what the email would look like. It would come from GE Informa no reply. Um, and also, this is an automated email. So this is not where you write back if you have any questions. Um, you would be expected to write back at africahealthcs at informa.com. Um, and we have a team that is constantly working around the clock to help you solve any issues. Um, so no matter which geography in the world you're located, if you're participating in a virtual event, um, the idea is to give you as much support as possible through that customer service channel. Um, 
This is where you would find the information of your company based on uh, what name you have used to register your participation. There wouldn't be any booth number because this is a virtual event, but generally this is where a booth number would appear. Um, there'd be a username, which has been um, used, which has been um, based on the email address of the person who either has signed the contract for Africa Health or somebody you have nominated from your side. And then there would be a URL that would take you to customer center. So what I'm going to do is show you what that page will look like. So this is what customer center itself looks like. Um, if you would have clicked on the URL, this is where you would land. If this is your first time participation, you would be triggered to set up a password. If you have participated with us in the past, then generally your browser would remain remember the password and you simply have to um, log in. Of course, you can click on forward password if you're struggling to get into Customer Center. Once you have um, successfully signed into Customer Center, in a few seconds, um, yeah, what you have here on the screen is the welcome message that you see inside Customer Center. Right now, there are two tiles that are available um, to you. And obviously, because this is a fully virtual event, there is very little information in terms of you know, your um, electricity and um, uh, Wi-Fi, et cetera, that you would generally have to order if this was a physical event. Um, so we're trying to keep this as similar to your gen regular uh, participation as possible. Um, so currently you have exhibited badges. This is where you need to go in to add yourself or your team members to the online platform. If you've already registered, meaning if you have filled up the form or somebody from your team has filled up the form, then you can directly go into the online platform using this link. Alternatively, you will all, you will have an access to Swap Card, which we will show um, in a short time on this screen if you have been in the online event platform. So I'm going to start with exhibitor badges. This is where you will have to register yourself or your team members. Um, I just want to repeat this. What you see on the screen is called Customer Center. This is not the online event platform itself although this is the registration uh, part to get into the platform. So I'm going to show you how to register yourself. You would have to click on the first tile called Exhibitor Badges. And here on the screen, we've given a bunch of instructions on how you will have to utilize the registration process. Uh, please take your time to read through the points, but just for the sake of um, time, I'm going to quickly explain what this says. Um, so because we know that this is a fully virtual event and generally uh, we would be forced to limit the number of people you can add to your stand because of the ongoing social distancing guidelines in different geographies. Um, we know that you guys want to maximize your benefit out of this platform. Um, so deliberately, we have chosen to keep this open to unlimited participants on your side which means that you can register yourself and as many of your colleagues as you wish uh, to become a part of your online event journey, to become a part of your online platform um, and your booth, your virtual booth, basically. Um, this clearly says that you will have to claim for an exhibitor badge called Exhibitor Online Only. Um, and once you have completed registration, you would receive an email from info at africahealthexhibition.com. Um, so please watch out for an email from this one if you've completed registration. If you have not completed registration, I'm going to quickly show you how to register yourself. Um, there's a quick button here, a green button that's meant to take you into visit. Visit, as has been um, explained here on top, is basically our exhibitor registration for this show. They are our partners for registration. Um, so do not feel like you're going into the platform as yet. This is just the registration part of um, the journey. So I click on the button um, and it's meant to directly take me into visit. It should not ask you for any username or password at this stage. Once you're, once you're inside the event, uh, one quick view at the left side will tell you that you're in the right place because you're inside Africa Health and inside Visit Connect, which means this is where you're meant to be. Um, you would have to click on something called a service center. Sorry, that was unforeseen. Give it a second. Okay. You would have to click on service center. And under service center, you have something called a stand personal. When you click on stand personal, you will be able to see um, all the people that you have already registered. For example, I registered myself um, and my colleague Kate um, as part of my booth. 
I can see my booth information on the left. So my booth name is GE Test Account North America, for example. Um, and under that company, I've registered myself. And then I went on and registered Kate. If you want to register somebody new for the show, um, simply hover around this area. And you can see that you've been given unlimited badges for Exhibitor, which means that you can register as many people as you like for your virtual booth. You will have to click on New. And when you click on New, it opens a dialog box, which basically is the registration form. Um, all the mandatory fields here on the screen that you see as I scroll down need to be filled in per person. Also, an email address has to be assigned for every single colleague of yours. Please remember that you should be using a unique email address to get access to the online event platform simply because um, your email address becomes your login detail, right? So everybody will have a unique login information and a unique account, which is linked to your company's account. The only thing to take care of at this screen is ensure you're clicking on next um, and avoid clicking on close because sometimes you may close um, and feel like you've completed registration, but actually you haven't, you've just skipped a step. Um, so ensure you're clicking on next after filling up the entire form. Um, once you have filled up the entire form, you will get to a screen that says, thank you for completing your registration. Usually when that screen comes up, you would then click on close um, and you will find that the name of the colleague that you used to register just now has appeared on this part of the screen which means that you can quickly have a view of how many people you've registered um, and um, how many, let's say, are pending on your side or who need, who need to still be registered into, its, into the system. Once you have completed registration for a person, for example, I, Divya Jishnani, registered Kate, Kate Nigdao at informa.com as a colleague of mine, that means that I have sent an email to Kate to get into the online platform. Um, once once a registration is complete, an email is triggered, which looks like this. So an email um, comes to you, which says your access to the online platform is now ready. So ensure that you have uh, put all your team members into that list, because that is how they will get this email. This email is directly going to take you into the online event platform. Now, this is from, this is from where your online event journey begins. Anything before this is simply getting into the platform, right? Um, you can quickly have a view of the email. It would generally tell you what are the quick things you should do to set up your portfolio or your profile um, on the platform. You may manage your personal profile or your company profile, depending on um, how you've been nominated internally. Uh, but this is what where you have to be um, to, to get into the online event platform. Um, it also tells me that I need to start by accessing my profile. Let's say I click on access my profile. Uh, once I do click on that, I will be taken back into this window. Um, and this is when I know that I'm in the right, in the, in the correct part of uh, the platform. That means I'm now inside africahealthapp.swapcard.com, which is the online event platform. Um, and I can see that there are a bunch of buttons here. I should be logging in first. So I will hand over to Melanie here, who's going to show you how to log into the system. Um, and then from there, how to look at these different tabs that are available, available to you on the home page, as well as how to manage your company profile using Exhibitor Center. Um, that, that completes the registration part of the process. I just want to reiterate, this is only registration, which means if you're adding colleagues to your batch section here inside visit, then all of them will individually get a welcome email from the online event. So ensure that you're adding everybody with the correct email address so that they get access to the online event. I'll hand over to you now, Melanie, um, who's gonna take you through the entire journey from this screen. Um, and if you have any questions so far, please feel free to drop them in the chat. We'll be answering them also towards the end of the session. Thank you. Thanks, Divya. Um, let me just share my screen and I'm going to start. I hope you all can see my screen. Um, so whenever you are logging to the platform from uh, the email that Divya just showed you, 
um, you will arrive on this home page. Um, so this is the home page of the online event. Um, and I'm going to start with the exhibitor center. So this is your um, exhibitor center where you can update all your company information and manage everything regarding your company. Um, so you have two options to access the exhibitor center. The first one is on the hand left here where you can uh, click on this edit button or you can simply go at the top right under your name and you have the option exhibitor center here. So whenever you click on that option, you will arrive on the exhibitor center, uh, which is this. The first home page is um, a welcome message addressed by the organizer. Um, so if there is any important information, it's going to be here. And I think they will also add the record of the webinar in case you just need to um, double check any information. Um, so then if you want to access your company information, you can simply go uh, to the next tab, which is company profile here. And here you will have an overview of your um, booth online. Um, so if you want to edit all the information, you can click on edit here and the window of information will appear on the right um, where you will see all the information to be updated if you want. So as you can see here, you have the option to add another picture for your booth and a logo. Uh, so whenever you have a design to be uploaded into the platform, you have all the requirements noted on the right. So just be careful to respect that um, if you want um, to have a quality uh, design on your booth. Um, then you have the option to rename your booth if you want. And if you click on information at the bottom here, then you will be redirected to the next information. Um, so you have the overview of your company uh, to be written here. And then you have some custom field that you can edit if you want. Same here at the bottom right, if you click on social media, then you will be redirected to the next information. You can add all your social media for your company. Uh, so you have the famous ones here. And then if you click on the option, you will have more um, social media option. Then on contact details here, you can fill all the information for um, the contact of your company. Uh, so you have mobile phone, email, website, and address. <clears throat> Just be careful with the phone number because whenever someone will visit your booth, um, they will see this phone number. Um, so yeah, just be careful with the one that you are adding here. Um, maybe just not add your uh, personal mobile phone, but uh, the standard of your company or your professional number. Um, so that's it for the company information. As you can see, I don't have any option anymore at the bottom right. So I can close the window and then go to the next tab on the left, which is documents and links. Um, so this is where you can add some documents for your company. As you can see here for the demo, uh, we have added all the exhibitor customer center, the guides, uh, attendee guides. So if you have any product catalogs, press release, if you want to display, um, I don't know, your prices or any flyers, you can add a document here with the option. And then as you can see, you have the option to um, upload the document directly from your computer add the title and write an overview. Just be careful to respect the maximum characters that are noted here, otherwise you won't be able to add the document um, to your online booth. Whenever you have filled these three um, options, then you can create the, your document and it will appear on your uh, booth here directly and it will be reflected on the, on the event. Um, of course, you can. whenever you have added a document, you can edit it. As you can see here, you can change the title and the overview, and you can delete the document if you want. Um, once you have filled your documents and links, then you have the option products. Um, and this is basically where you can add your products for your company. Um, so here you have the option to add products and to choose the category and subcategory in the list here. 
Um, so for example, I can add, I don't know, medical equipment product, and I will have the option to select a subcategory. And then I will just add my product test and my description. And here we go, I can create my products. So as you can see here, more option will um, will come on the on the screen so you can add a picture for your product and you also have some option to fill here you can of course delete your product if you want and you will see the limitation of the number of product that you can add here i've added one and i have four in total so i have three left um, then you can drag and drop your uh, product if you want to reorder uh, the list and you can still edit it same than other option if you want to uh, change some information. Once you have added your product, um, you have the tab meetings, and this is where you can manage your meetings requests at the company level. Um, so here I did, um, I sent a request with my profile um, to the Informa booth. Um, just to show you how it looks like. So here you have received the meeting request and you can reply. So as you can see, uh, this is the, requ the requester profile. So you can double check um, who's requesting a meeting to your booth. And just make sure that you assign someone from uh, the company for this meeting. So for example, here, if I click on that option, I will see all the person available for that meeting. And for example, I can assign Divya for that meeting and accept the meeting. Um, just double check your meeting request um, as often as possible, um, just to assign someone from your team, because otherwise once the meeting is coming, the requester won't see that meeting appearing on their profile. Um, they won't see the person assigned for that meeting. So it might be a bit confusing for them. So just be careful and make sure that you assign someone for your team for all the virtual meetings. Once you have accepted the meeting, you can send a message to that person or start the video call or just cancel the meeting if you can't make it anymore. Um, in case you need to change the host of the meeting, you can simply click on the cross here and assign someone else and save. Um, you have an option to export all your meetings via an Excel file um, if you need to share this information with your team. Uh, so you can just at the end of the show or every day click on that option and you will be able to download the Excel file. At the top you have also the option to um, just see the meetings per team member or, or with the um, option uh, for all the members. So if I click on Divya, for example, she doesn't have um, any meeting except mine. And same for Kate, for example, we won't have any meeting at the moment. So this is just an option to uh, filter the meetings um, for your booth. Um, then we have the Teams contact. Uh, so this is the next tab here. Uh, this is where you will see all the contacts made uh, by the entire team. Um, so a team's contact is someone that has accepted a connection request or a meeting request. Um, all your leads will appear on that page and you can search someone with um, the search bar at the top or you can export all your leads via the Excel file with the option at the top right here. Um, Whenever you will export all contacts, you will have all the information, um, meaning first name, last name, job title, company, email, and all the custom field available. Um, then we have the option of leads board. Um, so this is where you will see all the analytics for your booth uh, according to the options available um, that the organizer um, chose. So here, um, if it's available for your booth, you will have all the virtual booth visits. Uh, so you will be able to see all the person that has visited your online booth. And you will have more analytics whenever the event starts and we're getting more traffic uh, on the online platform. 
Um, the last option of the exhibitor center is your team. Um, so this is where you will be able to see all your team members for um, your company. For each team member, uh, you can edit the profile and you will see two options to show the profile under the company and the option if that person wants to share the contact that uh, he made. So this is two settings that you have for each profile. Um, just as a reminder, if you want to add more colleagues to your booth, uh, this is through visit that you can do that. Um, I think we're good for the exhibitor center. Um, so once you have updated your company profile, you will have um, then the option to go back to the event as a participant. So you can just click on switch to the event here. It will take you back to uh, the event here. And I will show you some uh, options that you have here as well uh, to optimize your um, journey. So the first one is your uh, profile information as a person, not a company uh, level. So you have two ways to edit your profile. You can click on the left here in edit, or you can go under the drop down menu on my profile. So if I edit here the profile, so here I'm using uh, Divya's one, um, I will be able to update my personal information as you can see um, here. And then I will have some option to change the first name, last name, the job title, and the company. I can upload a different um, picture from my profile. And then same than the company, I have some option here, if I click at the bottom, where I can add my biography, select all the custom fields here, and add some social media for my profile. Then I have also my contact details, um, where I can add the mobile phone number, the email address, website, and address. Um, so these contact details will appear whenever you accept a connection request or a meeting request. So whenever someone goes through the attendees list and click on your profile, if you didn't accept any connection request or meeting request, they won't see your contact details. Um, so here are the options for your profile. Um, just make sure that you complete that option because uh, that's an important one if you want to optimize uh, your journey and make sure that you're doing networking. And uh, if I go back to the events, um, as you can see at the top here, I can see the full menu for the event, which is reflected as well if I scroll down in boxes here. Um, so the first one is exhibitors list. So I will just show you how it looks like where you can see all the, um, the booths. So if I take the first one, then I will be able to see the company profile And then I will be able to see the meetings request option. So you just have to select the slot. This is the participant view, just to let you know. Um, they will have the option to request a meeting for your booth or to send a message into the chat. Um, if you want to answer the messages that you are receiving at the company level, uh, as you can see at the top right, you have the message icon here where you can click and you will see all the messages sent to you as a people. And then if you click on the drop down menu, you will have your um, company profile for messages. So this is how you can switch between your personal profile and the company um, messages. And you will have, of course, the small icon as notification whenever you receive a new message. Um, then you have um, more, um, more tabs on the event. I will let you go through it uh, whenever you have access to the platform. Um, I just wanted to show you something important for you, the attendees list, where you will see all the attendees profiles. Um, so the first line will be AI matches. So this is all the recommendation that we're doing with um, AI. And then we have the online people. So as you can see, 
we have a small um, green button here. That means uh, that this person is online at the moment on the event. Then you will see the full list of attendees. Um, and we have uh, organized some filters at the left hand side. that filter. So we have only one person here. And same for all the, the other filters. So we have session, nature of business, secondary nature of business, job function, country, interested to connect with, product categories of interest, and then the subcategories. So just feel free to use the filters to uh, find any uh, business partner. And if I click on someone's profile, so let's take a random one, then I will be able to send a connection request to that person. Uh, so I can add a message here, let's connect and send my connection request. Or I can um, send a meeting request. As you can see here, you have the uh, slots available, same than the company profile. I will be able to select a slot to request a meeting to that person and send my um, meeting request. Um, as a participant, if you are receiving any connection request or meeting requests, you will be able to receive the notification under the bell here, as you can see. New meeting, then if you click on the notification, you will be redirected to this uh, specific activity directly. Um, if I go back to the attendees list, I just wanted to show you that you can use the search bar as well if you are looking for someone specific. Uh, you can type the, the name, the last name, or the company uh, name, and you will see all the options available. Um, then you have more tabs into the event. Um, so let me just go back to the home page. You will have the speakers tab, the um, agenda, and here you will have my event. So this is a kind of personalized um, event where you will be able to see all your uh, session bookmarks, your meetings, your um, networking meeting, the contact that you have made. And if you have bookmarked any companies, that will be uh, here. Um, at the people level, if you have any um, unavailability for your uh, meeting slots, then this is where you can make yourself unavailable. Um, so just go to my events and my meetings. And as you can see here, you can make yourself unavailable for a specific slot. And then the uh, last button are the main stage and industry talks. So this is um, some sessions, um, specific sessions. Um, sorry, I just forgot to show you the different options that you have here. Um, of course, here you, you can export the session that you have uh, bookmarked into your calendar and you can export all the information via a PDF. Um, if you go to your, sorry, my internet is a bit slow. Same for my meetings and my networking, you will have some Excel uh, export option where you can um, download the contact that you have made and same, there is another option if you go to my contacts directly under your profile. Here you will have the option to download the contact that you have made. So everything that you are doing on the event platform is regarding your personal profile. And if you go to the exhibitor center, that will be related to your company. Um, I think I'm done with all the options. Uh, Divya, let me know if I forgot something that you wanted to um, highlight. Um, uh, no, Melanie, I think we, we've covered most of the important parts for uh, in the scope of today's webinar. Um, we have about 10 minutes left on the clock. Um, and I think we had a few questions on the um, on the chat window, um, and I wanted to sort of address them just for the wider scale. Um, in case if any of you um, are, have 
confirmed your participation at Africa Health, but are still waiting for a welcome email from Customer Center, which is the first email you get out of the system, um, then please write an email to africahealthcs at informa.com. I've dropped in the chat window as well. Um, that is our customer service email address for any issues, whether it's related to you not getting a welcome email, whether it's about you not being able to see something in customer center, or if it's inside the visit portal, which is where you add your team members, or if it's even anything related to swap card, uh, meaning anything related to the online event platform that Melanie has just covered. If any of these things look different to you or you're facing issues in uploading something um, or you think it's not working the way you're expecting it to work or if you're confused with any, any of the bits, um, then please reach out to our customer service team. Um, I just want to repeat africahealthcs at informa.com. Um, apart from that, um, my colleague Kate has dropped a link to our exhibitor guide. Um, that's um, a PDF version of everything you saw on the webinar today. Basically a screenshot by screenshot, step by step guide on how to onboard yourself for the online event and how to ensure that you're doing everything correctly to maximize your presence and get um, whatever, you know, get maximum benefit out of your participation. Um, so please, please go ahead and save that link for your reference um, and a lot on today's webinar might be something that you want to replay um, and probably go hand in hand when you are, um, you know, literally actioning these points, then a recording of this webinar will be circulated. If you have registered for the webinar, then it will directly come into your inbox as soon as we finish this. Um, or otherwise, we will be uploading this on YouTube or maybe one of those open sources and sharing a link um, to, with you guys through an email. So uh, feel free watch out for that email as well once we have uploaded that onto um, an open platform um, just so you guys have something to um, to go back to and watch again in case if you have any questions again um, it's still I think we're we're about a week or so away from um, inviting visitors into the platform so uh, when Melanie was showing you the platform there was an attendees section and that is where all of the attendees will be found uh, we will be adding hundreds of new registrations, new people, new attendees into that section of the platform, um, which means that even if you have done everything correctly, even if you set up your company profile, there will always be newer attendees to find inside the platform. There will be always newer connections to make. Um, so stay tuned. Also download, download the mobile app once you have set up your um your profile, etc., because um, the mobile app works much more seamlessly in the sense that if there if there's anybody uh, sending you a message or sending you a connection request, the notification will ping on your phone just like any other app does. Um, so if you want to stay connected throughout, especially if you have business partners that are not in the same geography as you, meaning they are in different time zones and you want to stay connected then your, if you have the mobile app downloaded on your phone, it will ping and you will immediately be able to answer back to a connection or to a chat. Um, or if you have registered for a session, then you will get a ping to remind you that the session is about to begin. Um, so sort of to maximize your participation and ensure that you're all the time connected to the event when it is taking place, um, we, would, we highly recommend downloading the mobile app um, again, the link to download the mobile app is all available inside Swapcard. When you come into Swapcard, you will have an email. That email contains all of those links. Of course, you can also write to customer service in case if you want somebody to immediately hand it over to you. Um, I think those were some of the more important sort of, um, you know, last minute notes that I wanted to drop in the webinar. Um, I can't see any more questions on the chat. Um, so I guess we, we will just allow everybody to, um, you know, go back and be able to do all of these steps and and they will they will reach out to customer service or us whenever uh, they get to a point or if they have any questions. Um, over, over to you, Hazel. Yeah, thank you guys for, for joining the webinar and uh, yeah, see you in the next two weeks. See you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.
Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.